Identifying parallel lines. So remember in previous lessons, we've looked at the three different types of angles in parallel lines. So we have looked at corresponding angles. And we know that corresponding angles are equal. We've also looked at alternate angles. And we know that alternate angles are equal. And we've looked at cointerior angles. And we know that co-interior angles are supplementary, which means that they add up to 180 degrees. So for these angles to exist, they, the two lines need to be parallel. Okay, so if you can prove that there is a pair of corresponding angles, or there is a pair of alternate angles, or there is a pair of co-interior angles, then you have proven that the lines are parallel. Okay, so here we have an example, and we have two lines. We have line AB, AB, and we have line CD, and they are both going in the same direction. And then we have this other single line that's going in the other direction. So we need to work out if we have a pair of parallel lines here. So what we do know is that the two lines that could possibly be parallel are lines AB and lines CD, okay? So we want to know, are they parallel? Now, if we know that those two lines could be our possible parallel lines, then we know that this other line is our transversal line. Okay, now, like I said before, if two lines are parallel, then they will have either a pair of corresponding angles, a pair of alternate angles, or a pair of co-interior angles. So if we have a look at the two angles that we have on this question, we have this angle here that's 145 degrees, and we have this angle here that's 145 degrees. So what we want to know is, are they either corresponding, alternate, or co-interior? Now, I'm hoping that you've been able to recognise that these two angles are corresponding angles. So because we have two angles that are corresponding, and those angles are equal, they're both 145 degrees, then we can say that line AB is parallel to line CD. And our reason for that is corresponding angles. And that's it. So something to remember here is that our parallel sign, when we say that two lines are parallel, so our parallel sign is just two lines like that. Okay, so we say AB is parallel to CD. Okay, so let's have a look at another example. So here we have another question. So we have two lines that go in one direction. We have line AB and then we have line CD. And these are the two lines that, I, that are possibly parallel. Okay. And then we have this third line that goes through the other two lines. And that is our transversal line. So we need to look at whether we can tell if AB and CD are parallel. So we have two angles inside the parallels, 102 degrees and 78 degrees. So because they're inside the parallel lines or the possible parallel lines, we're probably looking that these two angles could be co-interior. And what do we know about co-interior angles? Well, they add up to 180. So let's check to see if these two angles add up to 180. We have 102 plus 78, which equals 180 degrees. So these two angles are co-interior. 
So we can say that line AB is parallel to line CD and our reason is co-interior angles. Okay, let's have a look at a final example here. So we have two lines going in one direction. We have AB and CD or DC. And then we have this one line that goes through the two of them. So we can see that the two lines that might be parallel are AB and DC, which means the other line is our transversal line. Okay, so now that we know which lines are possibly parallel, we've got to look to see if we have an alternate, a corresponding, or a co-interior angle. And we have two angles. We have this angle here and this angle here. Now I'm hoping that you've recognised that these two angles are actually, they are alternate angles, okay? But... One is 84 degrees and the other one is 83 degrees. And what do we know about alternate angles? If alternate angles are in parallel lines or on parallel lines, they are equal. So because these alternate angles are not equal, then these lines are not parallel. So we would just write no, They are not parallel. And our reason for this would be that the alternate angles are not equal. Alternate angles are not equal. 